Hello everyone. You've probably clicked on this video because you wanted to know what will happen if you stop talking for a whole year. We are going to tell you about it, but before we're going to share with you more amazing facts that may completely change your view of the world. Let's get it on. So what would happen if you held your breath for a long time? As some of you remember from the school course of biology, breathing is an unconditioned reflex of the body that takes place unconsciously. In simple terms, none of us have ever had to learn how to breathe. A human is born and then, well, then everything just happens. Here are similar reflexes everyone has. Salivation and, for example, pulling your hand away from hot iron if we accidentally touch it for research purposes. Ouch. But many people probably know the feeling when suddenly out of nowhere you realize that you're breathing and you start doing it on purpose. Blowing air into the lungs and then exhaling it, thinking with horror that if you get distracted then something very terrible will happen. And if this happens at night, if you remembered similar situations or even caught yourself controlling your breathing right now, don't accuse us of anything. Even when you get distracted from the breathing process and switch, for example, to your favorite TV series, your body won't stop breathing. For sure, we promise. No, really, our body is not that easy to deceive because the access to oxygen directly affects our life. But what about those situations where a person holds his or her breath deliberately? Well, maybe he or she needs to learn right now how to swim underwater or something like that. In this case, after a period of time without oxygen, which is different for everyone, your brain will receive a certain signal and simply shut down. I mean, you'll lose consciousness and then the process of breathing will resume. Yes, of course, you can hit something with your forehead and it's going to be bad, but still not deadly. What would happen if you don't shower for a year? Hygiene is very important. Every day you go through a bunch of procedures like showering or brushing your teeth, and most likely you don't even think about it, especially in the morning. But can you not shower at all for a whole year? Pfft, I don't think showering's that important, you might say. After all, nobody showered in the Middle Ages, and nothing bad happened to them. They all survived somehow. In fact, the idea of medieval people being dirty is just a very popular myth people like to bring up all the time. Well, remember the aromatic characters of the movie The Visitors? They look very natural and are great for a huge number of jokes. In reality, knights and other medieval noble people could afford doing splashy splashy in a wooden tub near the fireplace quite often, and in summer somewhere in the open. But don't get upset, because today you can build a variety of theories without any historical facts. So, researchers from one American university have established that not showering for 365 days won't cause you any terrible damage. But of course, there are plenty of disadvantages. The unpleasant odor that appears as a result of the accumulation of bacteria and dead skin cells, check. Fungus, warts, black spots of dirt, check. The high risk of infection through an accidental cut, check. Seems to us that all this already sounds too frightening, and frankly speaking, right now I kind of want to shower. But the list of consequences doesn't end there. Add to it a huge amount of dandruff which makes your head itchy, tangled, sticky hair, acne and even dirt between your fingers and toes which can easily harden. Ugh, it's disgusting. According to scientists, it'll take you a lot of time to regain your former looks after this experiment. Some researchers believe that it'll take about a week to return to your old life, while others give more gloomy forecasts. Most likely, the skin will take several weeks to return to normal. We know, we know, now you want to take a shower or at least wash your hands. Put the video on pause, we'll wait. Why cats think so much before entering a room? Feel clean now? Then let's move on. Every day on the internet you see a lot of jokes about cats. Because they're cats. Everyone loves cats. In ancient times they were considered special animals and were respected. But it seems that humanity has overdone it a little. Because nowadays cats feel as if they're the kings of the whole world. Or well, at least of the house where a few people live. <laughs> With the permission of the cat, of course. By the way, if you have one of these fluffy, naughty pets, you probably notice that even after a long meowing under the door, your cat doesn't immediately accept your invitation to go in if you open the door. 
You, of course, can take it as an insult and not share its favorite treat with it. But believe us, the cat has its own reasons not to enter the room at once. Long meowing under the door doesn't necessarily mean that the pet really wants to get inside. Meow. In fact, it asks to open the door not because it wants to enter, but because the fluffy wants to control the territory. In other words, the power should be in the paws of this little creature, period. And if the door is closed, the pet feels that behind it there's something unknown and mysterious that may conceal danger. And it doesn't care at all that it sees this door every day, and behind it there's always a plate of food and a bowl of milk. Cats need to know who's walking in the room and what's going on there, because maybe there's prey that's looking forward to being caught. What do blind people dream? Dreams are one of the greatest mysteries of humankind. Until now, no one knows exactly what are these images and stories we see when we sleep. And it's really interesting how different people dream different things. Many of you have probably thought about what blind people dream, if they dream at all. In general, dreams are memories of our feelings or experiences. But if people are deprived of sight from birth and never received any visual information, then they don't see dreams, but feel them. It's difficult to imagine how this happens, but these people dream about smells, tastes, and tactile sensations, which compensates for the lack of a visual impression of the world. It's pretty hard to imagine, but blind people really do dream. Even a person who was born with vision and lost it eventually can lose the ability to dream with images and completely concentrate on the sensations. When dreaming, we recall some images from the past, so blind people remember sounds that had some meaning in their life. Quite simple and yet amazing. What would happen if there were no dogs? We all know there are two types of people, cat people and dog people. And since we already talked about the lovely fluffy cats, now it's time for some doggos. We're used to thinking of them as man's best friend. And according to some theories, we tamed dogs at least 15,000 years ago, which is very, very, very long ago. Science and curious fact lovers probably know that when two species are so connected during significant periods of time, one species influences on the natural selection of the other. Of course, it sounds rather difficult, but in fact it just means that dogs have made us what we are now, just like humans made these animals the way we know them today. And it continues to this day. You must have seen photos of dogs who are very similar to their owners. Do you know where we're going with this? Even in the modern world, hunters usually use dogs, and in fact in ancient times the teamwork of the dog and the man was vital. So if there were no dogs, we would probably come up with more ingenious methods of hunting. Our diet would be a little bit more vegetarian, and we would definitely replace dog's company with other animals. But then who would bring the ball to us? Who would mess up the house and run around with dirty paws on the clean floor and take away the delicious dishes from the table while nobody's watching? Raccoons? Foxes? Nah, I gotta agree, it's almost impossible to imagine our life without dogs. What happens if you stop talking for a year? Every day we talk with different people at home, at work, on the street, and on the phone. We say approximately 8,000 words from the moment we wake up until the moment we close our eyes and fall asleep each day. Some keep talking in their dreams, but we'll talk about them next time. So what happens if a person suddenly decides not to talk for a whole year? Well, for example, as a personal challenge or for some other reason. To begin with, communication is above all a psychological human need. Therefore, if a person is in a family circle or among friends and suddenly stops talking, then people around will do everything possible to maintain the relationship and not lose contact. But if you're wondering if a person will forget how to talk and if the muscles or the face or the tongue will atrophy or something like this, then the answer is no. They will be constantly moving due to other everyday activities such as eating, drinking, brushing their teeth and expressing emotions, etc. However, most likely, after a long break it will be difficult to immediately restore the old sound of the voice, but it is only a matter of time. So hopefully we revealed a couple of mysteries to you. What else would you like to know? And what's been intriguing you lately? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to give this video a like. Guys, it's time to recharge your brain. Visit the channel Brain Time. 
There you'll find a lot of interesting and useful facts, lots of positive energy and tons of useful information. Subscribe right now. We promise it's going to be really exciting. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.